So originally I wasn't gonna release this shader because after I created it, it turned out that if you're doing anime style, you're really not supposed to use an actual eyeball. I was not aware of how drastically different the facial structure for an anime character was compared to something like Final Fantasy when I made this. However, after running a poll with the patrons and members, overall we decided that it might be useful to cover anyway. So let's keep this short and sweet. This is a non-photorealistic procedural eye generator that you can download from my art station absolutely free. It just takes any sphere from Blender and generates an image at the top. It's pretty straightforward. The main colors are controlled with this ramp and the outline colors are controlled with that one. The position and the size of the eye shines can be controlled with these. The number of strands is controlled with this. How short they are is controlled here. How long they are is controlled here. If you'd like to blotch out random areas, you can do that here. And the blotch sizes are controlled here. These two items have been depreciated, so just don't worry about them. The color of the pupil rim is right here. The outer strand detail is controlled with this. You can change the pattern of them like this. The sharpness is controlled here. The outer limit is controlled like this. The inner limit is controlled by this. And this controls their visibility. This controls their size. You can randomize their pattern here. How thick they are here. How bright they shine. How much area they take up. The color of their hue is controlled through this. And the little crescent thing is controlled with this. The crescent rim size is right here. This controls the contrast. And this controls the area it covers. The pupil size is controlled here. The outline visibility is right here. And the overall shape can be adjusted with this. It's also affected by the direction of the light. So you can mix and match these features together until you get the look just the way you want. And once you've got Got everything just right, you were supposed to be able to bake this into a texture map, but Blender still hasn't fixed their diffuse bacon and Eevee yet, so until they fix that, really the only option that I've found is to take a screenshot and turn that into a texture map manually. It's kind of inconvenient, but uh, hopefully they'll fix that soon. Once you have the image file, you can just paste it on your character like a normal texture map, quick and easy. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.